Where did commercial supersonic flight go and will it be coming back in 55 seconds or less? Let's go. Okay, so supersonic flight is where you get a plane to go faster than the speed of sound, breaking through the sound barrier and creating that infamous sonic boom in the process. Now, the only time you would have been able to buy a ticket to be able to do this was in the mid 1970s to the early 2000s on Concorde. The plane was developed by the UK and French governments and used to fly from the US to the UK in as little as three hours. So why did it go away? Well, in the year 2000, a Concorde crashed shortly after takeoff. Then after that, 9-11 happened, leading to a major decline in air traffic. But there's at least one company trying to change that. Boom, yes, that is their actual name, is bringing out its Overture aircraft, which it hopes will rebuild supersonic flight around the world. But there's still one issue. This, the Sonic Boom, is still very much banned over land in the US and other countries. So there's questions as to how many routes Overture will be able to fly supersonically. 